another key technology that enhances our speed is MIMO. Actually, this is also what we mentioned yesterday. It's a multi-antenna technology. We call it in the 5G era. We call it massive MIMO. It's a large-scale multi-antenna technology. It is through this large-scale antenna to form this kind of beam shaping to achieve such a gain. Actually, the principle is actually it's similar to our wave interference, right? For example, we will have two antennas here, the electromagnetic waves we emit. They are all vector signals, right? They all have both magnitude and direction. Then vector signals, we will have emitted electromagnetic waves. We will have wave peaks and wave troughs. Then when superimposing in space, if it is the superposition of wave peak and wave peak, it will form a strong point of the signal. If it is the superposition of wave peak and wave trough, it will form a weak point of the signal. Then through such superposition of vector signals, we can form some directional beams. Through these directional beams, to cover our users to get better coverage. Coverage gain at the same time, it can effectively reduce interference and we through this adjust the weight of our transmitting antenna, adjust the weight of our transmitting antenna, then we can let the beam to follow the user to move form such a beam shaping. The benefit is that we have improved coverage, increased capacity and reduced interference. So this is our massive MIMO in the 5G network can effectively improve our capacity and speed. Of course, its basic principles we can simply compare. We also used MIMO in the 4G era, but we call it traditional MIMO. For example, in 4G TDLT, we will use this 8T line, this 8T8R, then support our internal antenna array structure. Then in this traditional MIMO, we will also form beam shaping, but we have control channels, broadcast control channel, and our business channel, broadcast control channel. It's a wide beam. It's one that's sent all over the cell omnidirectional transmission according to the use of the antenna then it is a wide beam sent at a certain angle this is our broadcast control channel and our business channel it can be follow the user through beam shaping then form different directions but in the 4g era through this traditional mimo or the number of beams it can form is limited the gain it can bring is also relatively limited below is our coverage direction map then we will see this is on the vertical plane on the vertical plane, we only have one direction. That is, we can only if this is a very high building, a very high building, it doesn't have. For example, this is a 30 story building or a 50 story building with this traditional MIMO. It can't achieve this kind of high rise coverage because its vertical direction only has one beam. Then it can only cover, for example, the bottom 10 floors above the 20th floor and above. You may not have a signal. So this is a disadvantage of traditional MIMO. First of all, it can't form multiple beams in the vertical direction. The coverage ability for high-rise buildings is relatively weak. Another one is that it doesn't have beam shaping on the broadcast channel. It's omnidirectional transmission only on the business channel can do beam shaping, but the beam of the business channel is also very limited. So the gain it brings is also limited. But in the 5G era, we used massive MIMO. Of course, the technology of massive MIMO. In the 4G era, we also applied, we call it 3D MIMO. Then in the 5G era, we call it Massive MIMO. What changes does Massive MIMO bring? I changed from the previous two antennas, four antennas, eight antennas. What has it become? 64 channel antenna. This is our internal antenna array. Of course, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Now we have eight. In the vertical direction, we have eight different antennas. Horizontal direction, we have one, two, three, four, four, eight, three, two. But each of our antennas is plus minus 45 degree dual polarization. So it brings 640, 64 r of course. In the vertical direction, we will find that it is a single signal. It drives three antennas. I use a single signal on the vertical plane. The more antennas driven by the signal, we can finally make the beam. The narrower the beam shaping. This is our 5G 6040 64 r multi-antenna. Of course, the array it actually uses, it might be a 192 array. It might also be a 128 array. Of course, the more arrays, the better the effect of beam shaping. We are now in the 5G era. Typically, there are 192 arrays. But these 192 arrays, it has this one drive 2, one drive 3, one drive 4 scenarios. So actually, there are 64 channels receive and transmit antenna channels. And this is our 6064T64R. It brings more antennas than the traditional 2T, 2R, 4T, 4R, 8T, 8R. So we call it massive MIMO. This is our schematic diagram of a massive MIMO antenna. 
actually we will see that there are many arrays inside of course this antenna array or this array antenna actually it's not just applied in our civilian field right in the early days they were all used in the military field right our array scanning radar right we have some destroyers and early warning aircraft including those high end fighters there will be airborne high end array radar massive mimo what gains does it bring on board the early warning aircraft including those on our high end fighter jets will have airborne high end array radar massive mimo what gains does it bring this traditional method of ours 4t 4r 8t 8r it can also perform beam forming right especially this kind we use it in tdd inside the tdd lte system the 8t 8r we use it can also perform beam forming but the beams it can form are very limited but when it comes to 5g's massive mimo we have more antennas we have 64 vector signals by superimposing so many vector signals we can achieve more directional beams so it brings this array gain brings this shaping gain brings this usage gain brings this diversity gain through this gain of what it multiplexing we can what significantly through this multiplexing gain we can achieve an increase in data rate for example we currently have the highest can support 16 independent data streams that is it can achieve under the same spectrum resources achieve what of data rate increase by 16 times of course we may go higher in the future it will increase to 22 times or even 32 times as for the diversity gain we can what get better coverage get better coverage so this is our massive memo some of the gains it brings it can improve our what data rate at the same time it can effectively improve our downlink coverage this is our massive memo the gain it brings at the same time it can also form what vertical plane beams to cover some high rise buildings in this way my vertical plane can form multiple beams for example form four layers of beams my first layer of beam to cover the lower floors floors 1 to 5 then the second layer of beam to cover floors 6 to 12 the third layer of beam to cover higher floors the fourth layer of beam to cover even higher floors so this massive mimo the gain it can bring is very obvious